Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the marker effect in Microsoft Edge is a feature, it seems, that Microsoft is battling to make up their mind about bringing to the Edge browser as a default feature. And quick recap, because I did show you how to enable Windows 11's marker effect in Edge in the stable version, and I'll leave that video down below. And I posted that just a couple of days ago. But as you can see, as I move uh, the browser around here yeah, in the title bar at the top, you can see where the blue sky is, it goes a little bit more blue. And if I move it down to the sand, it goes a more brown color. So it's picking up that opaque dynamic material effect from the desktop wallpaper as mentioned. Now go check that video out um, if you'd like to play catch up. But uh, it seems now that Microsoft may be thinking of pushing this out to the stable version as a default feature. And my reason for saying this, uh, because the description of the toggle that enables the marker effect has been updated now in Edge Canary. And this is Edge Canary version 121, which is the latest preview version. So if you head to your settings appearance page uh, in the settings menu, yeah, you'll see that the description as mentioned has been changed. Now if we head back to the stable version, currently in the stable version when that experimental flag is enabled, which I showed you how to do in that previous video which as mentioned will be down below, here we can see it says show Windows 11 visual effects in title bar and toolbar. Now the description you can see is a lot longer. It says adds marker effect to the title bar and toolbar backgrounds when using the default theme. This functionality depends on your device and Windows settings. We're still working on this feature, so you may experience some performance issues because obviously one of the, the reasons why um, this is not being pushed out as a default feature to the stable version is because it can cause performance issues. So that's a good reason why it hasn't made its way yet to stable. So that's currently the description of the toggle that enables the marker effect. Um, in the stable version when that flag has been enabled. Now if we head back to Edge Canary, the preview version, here we can see that the uh, title is still the same. Show Windows 11 visual effects in the title bar and toolbar. Now although they mention title bar and toolbar in the actual setting, they don't mention it in the description. It just says now adds marker effect to the browser when using the default theme. Now if we head back to stable, it said title bar and toolbar. Now it just says browser when using the default theme. And by the way, for marker effect to work, just on a side note, you need the default theme enabled. You cannot use another theme, so just take note of that. Then they carry on to say that this functionality depends on your device and Windows settings. So basically, um, they have also removed the bit about performance. So heading back to stable, um, they say, we are still working on this feature, so you may experience some performance issues in Edge Canary that has been removed. So this is a good indication that um, Microsoft could be preparing uh, the browser to enable this marker effect by default. Obviously, this is not a confirmation, but the fact that they have removed, especially the performance, a little bit of, the little bit about performance from that description in Edge Canary, is a good indication that um, they could be thinking now of once and for all to roll out the marker effect as a default feature um, to the stable version. And obviously, um, if that does roll out, um, they will give you an option to be able to toggle the feature on and off, I expect. But um, as always with these features, I'll keep you posted. And I know that the marker effect in the Edge browser. A lot of you are following this feature, so I just wanted to keep you posted. And if any more info becomes available and this does become a feature, obviously I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.